Imagine you're a British person. Okay. You're and... asking an Indian to imagine he's British. Easy. Done. <laughs> Hey everyone, so in this chat we're going to learn more about how, when learning a language, you can sound more like a native speaker. Hi Claire. Hi. So, um, yeah, as presented, what, do you, what are your thoughts on this? Hmm, so I think, you know, many people think like, oh, I need to have the skills and like what do I do and how many times do I need to listen to something and hone my accent and work with like a pro who's going to tutor me on the accent. Yeah. But um, I don't think that's it. I don't think it's about your innate talent or your skills. Like, I think that's a big myth. I think it's really about your personality much more than your skills or innate talent and, or you know, something you were given or you weren't given. We have some sort of an identity about ourselves. Okay. And so I think that's one thing that helped me um, to sound like a native in foreign languages is because I was never afraid to like play a role like when I was a kid I used to like do theater and and you know I kind of enjoyed it like oh like I'm gonna be this crazy person and scream on stage and I don't have an issue with that right um, and so I think there's like this willingness to become somebody else and see how that goes and I'm not very fixed in my identity so for example like imagine you're a person from, I don't know, Britain and the way you speak is very calm and very slow and, and very mannered. And then you're trying to learn Italian. Mm. And the way Italian is spoken is extremely different from the way British English is spoken. It's not spoken. as uh, composed. Right? And it's or like, it, it goes good. like, oh, no, 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 no. Like Italian goes like in a regular in regular speech, it can go through three octaves. It's completely normal. Imagine you're a British person. Okay. You're and... asking an Indian to imagine he's British. Easy. Done. <laughs> and um, the way you speak is, is, is very, you know, like... Within a range, composed yeah, to a certain exactly, extent. Exactly. Yeah, okay. thank you. Yeah. And uh, you're trying to learn Italian. And what's Italian like? All over the place. What does it sound to you like? Uh, nothing I can do will be non-insulting. I'd prefer someone who speaks Italian. Okay, so I'm gonna do the insulting part. Okay. So basically, right, like it goes along three octaves. Okay. On in on like a regular basis. So I don't know. I'd be like, Mama Don, I'm a cousin. Fine. No, 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 no. Right. It goes okay. like that. Yeah. And so is that something that you know would sound natural for a British person? Like, would it? you know, very like well-mannered, well-educated British person who speaks like a slow, right. you know, if like someone, similar pitched. Um, yeah. If a British person spoke Italian within their reserved range, it would be butchering the language. But they're also afraid of kind of being insulting to go in that. So it's a game, right? That says you just sort of like try it and see if it fits, if it, you know, if it sticks, if it doesn't, how you feel about it. And for sure, like, or like, you know, learning Mandarin um, for me or for, you know, anybody who speaks a language which is not tonal, it just sounds totally ridiculous. Mm. You're like, ma, 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 like what, what the heck is that? You know, it just is so strange. But, um, you know, if you, if you're willing to go there and you're willing to try, like, of course, at first it's going to sound so strange. It's going to feel strange. You are going to feel like you are faking something. I think you nailed it on the head though. Like you made it very clear, you're like you're playing a role. And so exactly. this idea of authenticity is really about how far, how deep you go into that role. And you have to go beyond what you're normally doing when it comes to expression, when it comes to uh, expressing yourself in a new language, right? So as long as you can get the message across is a very common statement made for those who can't get the tones in Mandarin. Like as long as they understand me, as long as you understand me, it's all good. But, but if that's you the need, thing, right? they actually won't understand you. So in Mandarin, Mandarin mm. is very particular in that mm. like if you don't go there and you don't try. You could be saying something totally different. Absolutely. Instead of asking a question, you've just insulted someone's mother. So how can you use an app like Glossica to sound more like a native speaker? Mm, so I think yeah, it's great because, as I said, immersing yourself is key. Mm. And so repetition right. is very important. Use and it so, every day, use it every night. And I think Glossica is great because it has actually people like with real accents speaking real language, which is not something you should take for granted because I've tried pretty much every language learning app there is. So yeah, listening to, you know, the language, what it sounds like over and over and over again so that your brain and your ear 
can pick it up and get used to it. So, you know, the repetition is very important. Mm -hmm. And I guess my follow up to that would be that how important is it to sound like a native speaker when you're mm -hmm. learning a new language? That's a great question. Thank you for that one. Yeah. You know, why are we learning languages, right? Like, what's the point? We want to communicate. Right. And uh, we want to be able to, you know, express ourselves. And is it really important? Like, sure, it does add something to it. But um, I don't think this is something we should strive for. We should strive for being able to communicate, interacting with people, being understood, and Going understanding on to more people. Meaning of the words rather than how you sound expressing the yeah. words, right? Because you know, at the end, you're just going to be yourself, and if you really don't feel comfortable with becoming somebody else or faking something, then what's the point? Like, why are you in it to begin with? Well, that's fair, and I appreciate that. I think that's really important for a lot of people to take away. Um, maybe a lot of the times, the challenge of sounding like a native speaker can overwhelm someone. Like, if I don't sound right, I'm over it. You know, I would just say, just don't be too hard on yourself, right? Just, um, yeah. Got it. Thank you. As always, super motivating, really upbeat, um, great energy to language learning. So thank you, Claire. Thank you. This I enjoy wonderful. talking to you. Um, and if you liked our chat today, please remember to like and subscribe. And we look forward to more Glossika chats. Bye.